Donald Trump was in court yesterday watching his lawyers take tough questions from an appeals court over Trump's claim of presidential immunity from charges that he tried to overturn the 2020 election. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas is tracking the case. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. It's easy to forget these prosecutions of Donald Trump are historic in nature. No former president has ever been charged with crimes after leaving office. And Tuesday, a critical hearing sought to address the question of whether a president has unlimited immunity while in office. A dramatic hearing before a three-judge appellate panel addressing a fundamental question, whether a president is immune from prosecution for any action taken while in office. One of the judges challenging former President Trump's call for complete immunity by raising a stunning hypothetical. Could a president order SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival? That's an official act in order to SEAL Team 6. Trump's attorney tried to push back. He would have to be and would speedily be, you know, uh, uh, impeached and convicted before the criminal but prosecution. The judge refusing to let go. I asked okay. you a yes, no, yes or no question. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. And so, so your answer is, is no. Is. The prosecution pouncing. What kind of world are we living in if, as I understood my friend on the other side to say here, a president orders his SEAL team to assassinate a political rival and resigns, for example, before an impeachment? Not a criminal act. President sells a pardon, resigns, or is not impeached, not a crime. I think that is extraordinarily frightening future. And the three-judge panel, two appointed by President Biden and one by President George Herbert Walker Bush, appeared receptive to the special counsel's claim that Trump, in trying to block Biden from being certified as president, was not acting in an official capacity, but on his own personal behalf as a candidate. But Trump's attorneys maintained that the prosecutions against him are being used as a political weapon. After the hearing, Trump raising the specter of violence by his supporters should he lose his legal challenges. It will be bedlam in the country. It's a very bad thing. It's a very bad precedent. As we said, it's the opening of a Pandora's box. Trump continued to spew election lies about voter fraud and did not denounce or rule out the potential for violence, George. Yeah, that was what was most remarkable about that questioning yesterday, Pierre. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.